and welcome to Grade Gov News. My name is Elizabeth Letchworth, and I served 26 years in the United States Senate, ultimately being the only woman ever elected in the United States Senate to serve as the secretary for the majority for the Republicans. So if you guessed it, these videos are going to be all about Congress. So let's get started. The House and the Senate are back off for their Christmas recess. They're back in session in the House of Representatives this week, passed a bill that requires the Health and Human Services to notify anybody that's been on the Obamacare website that has signed up for Obamacare to be notified within two days if their identity has been compromised. And that vote passed with 291 votes. The White House had issued a veto threat, but boy, I tell you what, they softened it when they saw that 291 vote. Of course, that's enough to override a presidential veto if this piece of legislation were to make it past the Senate and end up on the president's desk and he were to veto it. So they certainly were willing to soften that presidential veto threat after they saw that 291 votes supported letting folks know if their identity had been compromised as a result of the Obamacare website. Let's flip over to the Senate of the United States. The Senate began a bill that would extend unemployment benefits all the way through April of this year. There were lots of Senate Republicans that wanted to offer amendments, and as a matter of fact, six Senate Republicans voted with the Senate Democrats to begin the bill. Of course, they thought they were going to be able to offer amendments. You know, when senators and House members offer amendments, that is your voice. That is my voice being heard in Congress. Well, Senator Harry Reid, the majority leader, offered an amendment to extend the unemployment benefits for a full year, all the way to December 31st, and he offered a pay-for, which is what the Republicans were looking for. Only his pay-for was using savings from the sequester. And then he blocked all other amendments. No other amendments could be offered. Not a single Senate Republican amendment can be offered to the bill. Senator McConnell took to the floor at the latter part of this week and made a very impassioned speech about the fact that the minority rights in the United States Senate are being trampled on. But what, what does that mean for you and me? That means that your voice, that means that my voice is not being heard in the United States Senate. He went on to tell the listeners, since June of last summer, four Senate Republican amendments had been voted on in the Senate. Doesn't matter when they've been, whether they've been passed or defeated, only four amendments were granted a roll call vote. Now, if you look at the House of Representatives, which of course is run by John Boehner, the Republican Speaker of the House, he allowed 71 House Democrat votes to occur on House Democrat amendments. 71 Democrat amendments got, got votes in the House versus four Republican amendments in the Senate. Again, that means that your voice, my voice, we're not being heard in Washington, D.C. Those are the facts, folks, so you be the judge. Which party is being fair to the minority and the minority rights. We're going to do these up updates weekly on gradegov.com so you can learn more about Congress. You can also listen to GradeGov Radio on Blog Talk Radio Monday and Friday. It's a 30-minute show, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or each show is archived here on gradegov.com under the radio tab. In the meantime, be well, be safe, Keep the faith, and as always, stay tuned.